Well, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Uh, I wasn't going to do anything today, but this is very, very important. And as usual, uh, as with everything that's important, uh, this is about my third or fourth attempt to do something. None of the programs seem to be uh, responding on, uh, that's over two computers. So this is my final attempt. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'll be giving this up. Okay, finally, we've got to the bloody thing. Anyway, uh, this is from the Siberian Times today. First pictures and video of the largest methane fountain so far discovered in the Arctic Ocean. Subsea permafrost thaws fa faster than previously thought, Russian scientists say. So here go the first pictures. Uh, I don't believe that we've uh, seen this before. Unexpectedly high levels of subsea permafrost degradation were recorded by a Russian-led scientific expedition that spent more than a month in the seas of the eastern Arctic. A record high methane gas emission in the shape of an underwater fountain was registered at the beginning of October east of Bennett Island in the eastern Siberian Sea. It was like a needle in a haystack chase to find an exact place of a methane seep in dark sea waters, but we found it just right off the Academician Kildish. Scientists noticed a spot of emerald colored water with gas rushing to the surface and thousands of bubble threads, said expedition member Sergei Nikiforov, a communications expert of the Tomsk Polytechnic University. The area of the fountain covered about five meters with water so violently boiling with methane bubbles that scientists skipped using plastic cones for sampling and instead collected the gas in buckets. It was the most powerful seep I've ever observed. No one has ever recorded anything similar, said the head of expedition Igor Similyatov, who has participated in 45 Arctic expeditions. So here goes some more pictures. So that's the turquoise water. So uh, unexpectedly high speed of degradation of subsea permafrost has been recorded. In some areas, the roof of subsea permafrost thawed to the stability horizons of gas hydrates. Moreover, it has been proved that over the past 30 years, the speed of vertical degradation of subsea permafrost doubled compared to previous centuries and reached 18 centimeters per year, which is significantly higher than in earlier estimates. This result makes us reconsider the belief that subsea permafrost is stable and can only thaw uh, by a few meters by the end of the 21st century, he stressed. Did you hear that, Caroline Rupel and uh, Yale University? Did you hear it? Um, and they have gone through the uh, 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 key facts and they what they actually established was high levels of degradation of subsea permafrost the speed of vertical degradation of subsea permafrost has doubled compared to previous centuries and turned out to be higher than earlier estimates and microplastic has been discovered in the seas of the eastern arctic thousands of miles away from residential settlements and uh then uh more has been said about the about the plastics. Mm -hmm. 
So I will just finish off by uh, playing this uh, video if I can. Okay, well that's that. Uh, that's about as much as I can uh, concoct and uh, we'll just see if I can get this uh, this video out because it's ever, ever so important. We've never seen these photographs uh, before.